How are you feeling? That's all I want. I don't even know what it was. Speed agility. <laughs> there we go. What is up everyone and welcome back to another Ref6 weekly vlog. So this week is slightly different. I don't actually have a game. But obviously there's been some news recently uh, and I've been accepted in, or invited, if you want to say, into this new sort of development group. So it's called CORE, which is the FA's Centre of Referee Excellence. Um, so this is like, an, you know, a, not a fast track. I can't really think of the right words. Like a development group uh, for promising referees. So in America, they have this sort of like pro system where... You know, you get picked up early doors and then you can move up the ranks quicker. Um, whereas obviously in England, we get just this, we get put into this core, so centre of referee excellence. And this allows us to, you know, get better coaches. Um, so obviously I picked up a new coach this year um, and better training sessions. So I have to meet up four times a year uh, in, I think it's Basingstoke, which is about two hours away from my house. Um, four times a year for you know, development sessions, training sessions, uh, both fitness and technical. However, this weekend, I've been invited up to Warwickshire Uni. Uh, so one of the university, sport universities, in, biggest sport universities in England. Um, so I've got to travel up there for Saturday and Sunday to go through technical sessions, uh, training sessions. So stay to the end because this is going to be a big, you know, weekend. And hopefully we can relay some important information for you guys. And, you know, some tips and tricks that I pick up from, you know, the PGMOL because they're going to be there. The head of refereeing is going to be there. So hopefully there's lots of little nuggets that we can pick up. Um, you know, of good information and good practice, really, that I can relate to you guys. So we're always learning. So stay to the end because it's going to be a great vlog. Uh, and then I've got to leave at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I've got to make sure my bag is packed. So for the rest of the day, it's like I said, it's going to be nice and simple. I've got to go do a pool session now. Uh, so that's going to be back and biceps and shoulders. Um, and then I'm going to pack my bag for the weekend away, eat dinner, and then, yeah, that'll be today. And then tomorrow, I'll catch up with you guys at 7am when I have to leave the house. So, I'm very much looking forward to this. It's going to be a great vlog. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, good morning, everyone. So, it is 7am. Well, it's actually 10 past 7 I'm on the road. So I think I'm gonna be driving for roughly, well, it says two and a half hours here, so I'm gonna get there just about half nine. So the traffic is good. We're on our way to Warwickshire Uni for the core event. So yeah, um, I'm quite tired already, I'm not gonna lie. The weather looks like it could be quite questionable. And did I pack a rain jacket? Absolutely not. So on our way to Warwick, let's bring this. So it is 20 to 3 right now. Uh, we've done our first technical session in the morning, which was based around foul, de foul detection and KMD, which is key match decision accuracy. Um, and then we went for lunch. And then we did a second technical session, which was player and situation management. So I'll go through both sessions quickly. So te tactical session one. It was about an hour and a half long, um, and obviously foul detection and KMD accuracy. So basically the idea of everything is about becoming from a good referee to a great referee. So they showed clips of, you know, good practice, but how do we make that better? So things like, you know, there's a great quote in here, the angle gives you accuracy and proximity gives you credibility. Um, you know, a great quote that, you know, we need to be thinking of both of those things and on quick breaks, are we putting in that extra effort? Um, you know, they say the most common inaccuracies are between 37 and 45 minutes. Sorry, I've got my notes here about the session. Um, 87 and 90 and 45 and 51. So those periods where you either think um, you're coming towards the end of a half, so you think you can let off, or, you know, you're coming just outside of half time where you need to get back into the game. So it was really interesting to look at, you know, how to 
become good and great. And a lot of it is just self-analyzing. So, you know, what could we do better? You know, could we get into that sprint? Can we get round a little bit more? Are we too much on our toes? You know, things that you have to look at with footage as well. Um, and learning off other people as well is just a massive um, point about it all. So that was, you know, tactical, tactical session one. That session two was player and situation management. So a lot of the directives nowadays is about looking at time wasting and how can we handle situations. And a lot of, so one of the things they told us is about barriers. So you put your hands up like this and then if a player breaks your barrier, when you're dealing with a situation, instead of going steaming in, put this barrier out. Or if they're coming to you, you know, take two steps back, put your barrier out. And if they try and come towards you, then it means that basically setting the decision for you, you've shown everyone in the crowd. It's not just about between you and the players, it's about everyone, the technical staff, the managers, the physios, the crowd. Like if you put your hands out like this, you know, you're giving yourself a metre, metre and a half, depending on what your wingspan is. Um, and if they break that barrier, then they everyone goes, well, you know, the referee said stop and he's still going. So that's a really good, you know, technique actually. And especially in confrontational situations, you know, that, that'll be something key to use. So that's a nice little tip there. As well as things like in the last minute of the game, do you need to be throwing red cards about, yellow cards about, can we manage the game to a safe conclusion? So it's been really interesting, actually. There's a lot to learn. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack up my rucksack because we have a practical session. So I'm going to just chill out for 15 minutes and then I will pack my bag and get ready to go for the practical session one. So catch you in a bit. How are you feeling? That's all right. I don't even know what it was. Speed agility. <laughs> there we go. So that is the end of day one. Uh, well, it's not the end yet. So the practical session was quite good actually. So the first session was a speed session, speed endurance session, uh, which I'm sure you've seen some clips of. Um, and the second session was uh, a practical like decision-making. So it sort of links with the first day. So what it was, was we ran around some cones, uh, sidestepped, then pirouetted they said and then sidestepped again and uh, had to full tilt sprint towards this other cone and then they call out a colour so there was three sets of cones there was a double yellow four two sets of cones a double yellow a white a blue and a red and then on the other side the same so they'll be like left white so then you had to run to that and then they'd be like reckless foul yellow card uh, reckless foul attacking team so the attacking team made the foul so it'd be a defensive free kick and a yellow card so you had to mimic that so what we found quite difficult was the, um, you know, not visualising it. So you have to visualise it in your head and then give the decision. So it's, it takes a little bit of mental sort of fortitude and like thinking to do it. Overall, fantastic day. I'm not going to speak too long here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for dinner with, um, we have dinner here. Um, I'm going to have dinner with everyone and hopefully get some talks to them. So we're going to go watch the Liverpool game, uh, the Community Shield. So we're going to go down to the, the eating area um, or bar and watch the game. Hopefully I can get some interviews with some people, some little chats and be like, level what they've done, what they've enjoyed about the day as well. So you're not always hearing it from me. So yeah, great day so far. Very enjoyed it. Quite tired. Um, it's only six, half five, quarter six. Um, so I meet them at six o'clock and uh, yeah, but so far, good day. Okay, so I'm here with Sam. Hello. And you are a level 
level seven referee. Perfect. And what have you enjoyed most about today? Um, just taking in all the knowledge, really. There's a lot of um, very experienced referees here. People have been there and done it. So it's just uh, kind of taking it all in, listening, taking as much advice and see if I can go out and use that advice and put it into place on, on a Saturday yeah. at three o'clock. Yeah, so we were talking earlier, and you are a level seven. Right. And how many games did you do last year? Uh, 120. That's absolute madness. Yeah. Absolute madness. So, obviously, is this your first year in core? Um, it is. Yeah, my first, uh, my first, my first, my first core event. So, yeah, just been invited in this year. So, yeah, I'm uh, very grateful. Perfect. So, in terms of stepping forward on the promotion scheme, yeah. um, what challenges do you think you're going to be facing this year? Um, hopefully, going seven to five. So. It's going to be a big step up. Uh, the, the standard of football is going to increase the pressure, the expectation um, of the players um, to have that referee there that is going to, going to, going to kind of be knowing what he's doing and uh, be assured of himself. So, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a big step up this year, and I'm uh, just looking forward to the challenge. Really, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. And obviously, your refs excuse as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. uh, what do you find most useful about that? Um, it's just so easy compared to getting a notebook out every time. Um, it's just, it's just there. It's got everything you need. Um, it's so efficient, quick, to log in a yellow card, whatever, to check the time, to add goals. Referees get their notepad out, spend time looking at the, the notepad and said, I can keep my eyes on the game, keep focused on what, what I need to focus on and uh, spend minimal time kind of writing down the score or, you know, stopping. And another thing I think is great for it is being able to stop play for, for injury or substitutions or whatever. And I think that's just, yeah, it's, it's just so quick, really efficient, like, yeah, like I said. Perfect. So that's been Sam. Um, obviously, he's a level seven, and you'll see probably a lot more of him over the next day and a half that we're here for. Obviously, we did the practice session together. We did, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see him tomorrow as well, and we'll get, get your thoughts on tomorrow for as well. sure. Perfect. Absolutely. Excellent. The next day. Good morning, and welcome to day two. So, as you can see, it is a little bit grim out. Let's have a look if I can. Yeah, there you go. So, it's a little bit grim out right now, uh, but we've got. I've just had breakfast uh, with the boys. Um, so the plan is to quickly pack up. It's quarter past nine. I've got me at half nine for the first practical session of the day. So today I've been told I need my flags, my cards, my whistle. Um, we are on 3G today. So here it is, all laid out. Boots, because I'm going to go with these because they're my Astro boots. What's that? With flags, cards, whistle, hairband, water, GoPro, bag. So I'm going to quickly pack all this up get ready to go um, and then we're going to walk down to the pitches hopefully get some good footage of the the session and then we've got lunch and then it's a technical session this afternoon so yeah it's been great slept really well obviously the room is really nice as well so i've been very very lucky um yeah very much looking forward to today let's pack the stuff up and go <laughs> Session two, it is 11.20, uh, the tech, or practical sessions one, two. So they were a position and movement drill and key match decision drill um, where you had to run backwards and forwards and then run round mannequins. And then it, there was an assistant referee drill, which is quite good. Um, I was okay at it. <laughs> Basically, we're learning about the crossovers where and the attacker comes one way and the defender comes another. And basically keep your flag down. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be on the side rather than offside. That crossover is called the flash lag. Um, so that's something obviously to learn and be better at. A lot of these sessions are great. Do we, we replicate on the pitch? You need a big number of people to do that, I think. It, they obviously help. They're great. So coming on these core camps is good because you get that sort of training. Um, but yeah, there were some questions of positioning. I thought... You know, I challenged people as well, which is important. Um, they challenged me. 
But yeah, uh, so far so good. So the time is, like I said, 20 past 11. We have to meet in the lecture theatre for technical session one um, and then lunch and then technical session two after lunch and then it's home time. So hopefully we we'll catch up with some of the other people here before the end of the day. And yeah, so shower, pack my bags, put it in the car and then for the rest of the afternoon technical sessions, which is quite nice because it's just started raining. So I'm lucky we're inside for the rest of the day. But yeah, so far so good. Enjoy the sessions. They are, you know, they get you working. So it's an hour and a half session, but it's 700 calories. So yeah, so, you know, very good, very much. Happy with how things are going. A few moments later. Okay, so we have finished day two and I'm here with... Alex. And you're a level... I'm a level four. Level four perfect. How long have you been a level four? Uh, first season this will first be. Season. So are you excited about being a level four? Yeah, looking forward to it. Obviously, it's a, it's a new challenge. Um, taking a, into that semi-pro uh, game, uh, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. So obviously, we finished day two, so... The afternoon sessions were finding that one yep. percent and dealing with time wasting so how did you find those sessions yeah so uh, dealing with time wasting uh, a lot of key points to take out of it um, looking at player management and trying to prevent uh, that delay uh, rather than looking to cure it once it's occurred so stepping in early um, and doing what you've got to to be done to uh, prevent uh, that happening and happen to have an impact on the game in the overall weekend, we've been here since yesterday at 7, well I left the house at 7am, we were here at 9 yet. Um, how have you found the weekend in general? Obviously, it's your, my first core camp, your first yeah. core camp as well. How have you found the weekend? Yeah, uh, I mean overall it's been, it's been really good. I, I've definitely learned a lot, uh, a lot from it, there's a lot to take away. Um, it's been intense, it's been hard work, um, but as they've reiterated over the whole weekend, uh, finding that 1% uh, and taking it to the next level is kind of what this has all been about and uh, it's been the key focus throughout, throughout the whole weekend. Well, excellent. I'm sure we'll keep up for the season and hope you do well. Fingers crossed. So. Beautiful. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the core weekend done. So the last two sessions today were dealing with, as you heard from Alex say, dealing with sort of time wasting and how we can be proactive, you know, using our voice and our whistle, you know, to be proactive if they look like they're dealing with uh, or they look like they're trying to time waste. Uh, and then the second session was finding that 1%. So how can we change our mindset to make sure that if it's an observer, change that into a strength, I'm gonna get the best mark out of this observer, or, you know, I'm gonna do, you know, John trains five days a week, well, I'm gonna train six days a week, that kind of thing. Like, your competition is to your left and to your right. Like, how are we gonna change that? And, you know, it, it puts some really important things in. Like, I do a lot of, the things right at the moment and maybe just doing a little bit more on match day probably for me is my weakness and where I have to think about it you know I've now got a better part of three hour drive back to Brighton where I'm gonna reflect um, on the weekend and then I'll get home and sign the vlog off really because I think it's important you know met some great people this weekend but I'll talk about that in a bit so yeah you know I'm gonna drive home now after a great weekend um, and then reflect when I get back so so far so good uh, let's get home because it's been a very intense weekend I'm gonna have to concentrate for the next three hours to get home I'm gonna be tired but it's been very worth it so see you in three hours and that is it I am back home and it feels good. It was a long drive. I got stuck in a little bit of traffic, but nothing major. But, you know, to process the whole entire week, weekend, sorry. Wow, what a weekend. You know, I learned loads and I've really got a lot of food for thought coming into the first game of the season. Um, you know, just a lot to think about and a, a lot to digest in terms of trying to find that 1% and... You know, all these little things, can we make good refereeing great and how do we do that with a lot of self-analysis? And obviously we can't get our fixtures a lot, so um, like footage a lot, so maybe it is worth, you know, paying for a little bit more, you know, or looking at ref six a little bit more. That Those kind of little things that a lot of people don't use, What? how can I utilise them to be better? So, you know, I've met some great people this weekend and I hope to keep up with them throughout the season and like catch up with their journeys as well. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week for the next Ref6 weekly vlog.